Yo, what's up guys? I'm here with Rado wearing his Brapper Dan hoodie. Pick one up in the link in the description down below. Anyway, we're sitting here messing with the go-kart. If you haven't seen this thing before, this is the 80cc KDX80 home-built shifter cart. Been having a couple problems with it. We just took uh, the side cover off the engine so we can look at the transmission. I actually didn't make a video about this last time, but you can see this little mechanism right here that uh, flips the gears inside. You can see this little part of the transmission here that broke off, but we've already been inside here once. So in order to get this shaft out, this part right, this part right here goes all the way through to the other side, connects to the shift lever. And uh, in order to get this piece out, we're gonna have to pull the clutch out. This is a 14 millimeter bolt, and uh, we're gonna have to use an impact to get this off. And then we should be able to slide this shaft right out and just uh, pretty easily replace it. So the motor that's on this go-kart is off of a 1987 Kawasaki KDX-80. Harbor Freight, my boomstick! Alright, we're going to have to use an impact to get that uh, clutch off. You ain't doing it by hand, folks. Voila! Alright, now you can kind of get a better look at what's going on here. This is the mechanism right here that goes up and down. And this piece is supposed to wrap all the way around this circle piece here. It's supposed to be like kind of totally encased. But now you can see, oh, I've got the gasket here. And do that. This piece slides right out. So that's the shaft there. And this is the piece that we're gonna have to replace. So it's about a week later now. I got the new shifter part in. You can see here the old one that I tried to weld and I failed at. And this is a new one that's in pristine condition. So the only problem now, you can see that this one has kind of a step down to the splined area and this one is more straight. So this new uh, KX60 shifter fits in the motor, but our shift lever is not going to fit on here. So we're going to have to figure something out. Pretty sure you had unscrewed this last time. I don't think there's a spring in there. That goes on there. Okie dokie. So because this shift lever that I have, these, this hole here, these splines don't fit uh, on the new shifter or on the new shaft. I'm gonna cut one of these sides off and uh, re-weld it in a different position so that it actually fits on the new shaft. Well, the battery's dead in my auto dark helmet, so I had to weld this with my eyes closed, but kind of reposition that piece. Looks like garbage, but hopefully this fits on the shaft now and we can tighten down that bolt and at least get it to engage the splines and work for the time being. We kind of just want to test this out. I could always order the proper shift lever for it, but for right now, we just want to try to get it going and uh, make sure it's going to work. Well, we got the Kickstarter back in, we got the clutch back in and the shifting mechanism down here that we've replaced so all we got to do is put some rtv and seal this thing back up we got this all back on we got the silicone on there now we just have to try and get the shift lever on this side We got everything back together. Go-kart's running good. I went outside, did a little test drive. Everything's shifting good, but we have snow. The thing won't go anywhere. It's pitch black outside. So fortunately, we're not gonna get any video of actually ripping it today, but when it warms up a little bit and the snow melts, we're gonna have this thing out. So go down below, subscribe if you wanna see videos of this thing ripping now with the transmission fixed. See you next time.